Well, good morning. Welcome to Monday. Short vlog today, so I'm on the road early. Uh, I left just before five o'clock, uh, which, you know, it's what I told my brothers is I basically just, I wake up at four every day. There's no snooze. There's no rolling over five more minutes, 10 more minutes. Like both my brothers are snoozers. They, they both openly admit that. Set their, one sets their alarm early, so he has time to snooze, which his wife was kind of like scratching her head, like, why would you do <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm not a snoozer, never have been. Um, I broke that habit back in like elementary school. Um, and so anyway, I get up at four, I go straight to the couch, I start importing footage, I edit the vlog. Travis said, but I just got one up, and will you grab shrooms? I'm gonna haul ass. Would you like to reply? Yes. What would you like to say to Travis? Yep, got got shrooms. See you there. There you go. <laughs> Travis just woke up at five ten, so I'll be the first one at the warehouse. Uh, yeah, Mondays are rough for him, for sure. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? I get on the couch, import the footage, I edit the vlog, I start encoding it. Once it's encoding, I make the coffee use the restroom, you know, whatever, whatever other little things I might need to do. But usually it's make the coffee. I drink my coffee while it's encoding, uh, depending on how long the vlog is, depends on how long it takes to encode. And then it takes, depends on how long it takes to uh, upload and uh, process. And, you know, just, it's, it's a cascading effect. The bigger the vlog, the longer everything takes. So it's a short vlog. It doesn't take long to edit. It doesn't take long to process, uh, encode. It doesn't take long to upload and process. It just, everything's faster. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I get out of there. And that's it. As soon as the vlog's done, I, I leave. So if it's a longer vlog, it takes me longer to edit, it takes longer to do all the process, then I get out of the house later. And that's kind of how it works at the moment. Speaking of short vlog, uh, you know, editing editing the vlog made me realize just the day kind of flew by and, and not a lot of uh, not a lot of vlog. And I, I got done editing. You know, it was like what five minutes I think the vlog was I got done editing and I kind of like thought back like what, what else could I have vlogged what else could I have done and there really wasn't a whole lot going on in the morning you know I did we did breakfast and then um, we watched football and then uh, about half time I left Sierra and I left went to my brother's house you know hanging out with him and, and, and uh, his wife conversations just a lot of conversations talking the whole time so it doesn't make for uh you know vloggable moments i vlogged what i could and that was it the day just kind of flew by i got home put my orders in and then i was ready for bed so it was just like wham bam thank you ma'am that was our sunday very different stark stark difference from last weekend right last weekend i was gone all day uh, with chuck and bow on saturday then sunday we had the bevos over and we uh, uh you know did ribs and whatnot Monday, Tiff and I hung out by the pool and kind of did our own thing. It was, it was an action-packed weekend. So then we had this weekend, which was kind of like just mellow, chill, you know, not a lot going on. So such is life. But uh, we got a lot of things coming up. Tiff and I's anniversary is this weekend. I want to do something. I want to take her somewhere. I want to do something. But she's just so, like, not a big deal. Don't worry about it. We don't need to do anything. I don't need anything. And it's like, kind of takes the wind out of my sails, you know? I don't know. We got a, we got a week, a week to figure it out. I was talking to Sierra about it a little bit yesterday. I have some ideas. I might just surprise her and just pull the trigger on, on something and not even tell her. Just be like, all right, this is what we're doing. Boom. But it's not me. My style. My style is collaboration. My style is what does she, you know, what does she want? I want her to be happy. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Also, Green Day concert, I think, is next week. I, I, I had that fear of like, oh, crap, is it this week? It's next week. So... Uh, yeah, there's something else. There's something else looming that we have going on this week. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head though. So, 5:40 in the morning. There's a slight breeze, and it says it's 83 degrees. Feels amazing. This is the the, the, the tiptoe of fall. Off work, my side of town, my Costco. Needed to return one of those pair, one of those pair of shorts that I bought last week. Didn't like it. Didn't have enough pockets. And Tiffany wanted me to get some eggs and some protein shakes. So let's do some Costco shopping. Oh, they're already rolling up. 
the pumpkin pies. Are you a fan of pumpkin pie? I love it. Apple's my favorite, but pumpkin's a, a close second. Back from Costco, change my clothes, do a quick haul before I show you what I got. Uh, first and foremost, I stuck up on my ramen. Love this stuff. And you know, I've been slacking. I haven't, I don't think I did any Momofuku noodles last week at all. Um, I think the, the time that I cooked them was on last Friday, so it's been a whole week since I've done them. Sierra's gotten into them, she loves them. Um, but still, gotta have my ramen in the freezer at all times. Uh, we got a tri-tip. Love the one that uh, Austin did yesterday. And they've got multiple kinds. Like these bagged ones are a little on the cheaper side versus the ones that you get from like the meat counter. And it's already marinated and honestly, I'm just looking for quick and easy. So I can put this in the oven. I don't even have to start the grill, love it. Uh, also, for convenience purposes, I've been wanting to try. I've been wanting to try this. This is a sliced grass-fed beef sirloin. Uh, it's done via sous vide, and basically you just throw it in a skillet and, and you're just reheating it, which is basically what I do after I cook a good piece of meat like this. I've got leftovers. I just, you know, throw in a skillet, heat them up for tacos, quesadillas, that sort of thing. Um, got a bag of broccoli because Tiff loves her broccoli and he needs vegetables with dinner. And we got two dozen eggs because. We go through a lot of eggs in this house. So two dozen eggs. Uh, and then last but not least, we got some uh, protein shakes on the go. Tiffany and Bryce have been, been uh, going through a lot of these. It's convenient, I get it. If you're at home, protein shake makes the most sense because you can shake it and then just what and ruts it out. But when you're on the go, the bottle ones make the most sense. And I, I, I have those at work, so I can't complain. So that's it, short and sweet. So we got the Fairlife protein shakes. We got two dozen eggs. We have grass-fed beef sirloin that's already cooked and sliced. We have a uncooked marinated tri-tip. We got a bag of a five-pound bag of broccoli, and we have uh, the frozen ramen. Let me know in the comments below how much you think this costs. Give me give me your your uh, your guess. I'll, I'll I'll let you know if you if you're close within ten dollars within ten dollars. I gotta think of something. Oh, I wish can I gift can I gift memberships? I know there's membership gifting on the platform now, but I don't know if I can gift somebody a membership. I know on Twitch you can. If I can gift you a membership, I will, if you get it within $10. If I can't gift you, then you just get the winner and you get your pin, you get your comment pin. There you go. All right, fast forward uh, about an hour later. I'm live on the YouTube and we got a tri-tip in the oven and Tiffany's got the broccoli on the stove. She's trying a new recipe that she saw on the bag. Check this out. Oh yeah. All right, so I just wrapped up the live stream because dinner is ready. I was a little disappointed at first because the first couple cuts were well done and I was extremely bummed out. But this is a very thick piece of meat as most tri-tips are. And as I got further in, we did get to the medium rare part, but as you can see, it's lopsided. So I almost paused this thing did not tell me to flip it, but I feel like I should have flipped it. It would have cooked more evenly because the bottom is pretty much well done. And then it goes medium, medium rare at the top where the fat cap was. So I cut the fat cap off. So I could like cut the center of this thing out and have a nice medium rare steak. <laughs> but I mean, the good news is this thing's been marinating forever, however long it's been sitting in that bag. So it's still pretty, still pretty damn good just not the right consistency that I was shooting for. But this is my first time doing a tri-tip in the oven, so now that I've done it, and that was a pretty relatively cheap piece of meat, so we'll, we'll keep playing with that. Cleaned it from dinner, took a shower, put my orders in, and uh, I mean, it's, it's only 8.15, but I'm tired. I don't know why, but I was, I was feeling it today, kind of dozing off. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to bed earlier. You know, probably bring my iPad and maybe play a couple hands of magic, but I think once I lay down, it'll be done. So, um, yeah, busy Monday. Like I said, I called it. I said yesterday it was gonna be a busy Monday, and it was, um, but a good one. So, um, tomorrow Austin's in, so we'll catch up with him, and uh, hopefully get out of there a decent time so I can go to the gym. So we'll see you there.